This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. Hi, this is Daniel from MobileGeeks.com and I'm here at IFA 2015 with a brand new Huawei Mate S which was presented right here. So let's have a quick look around this phone which has as one of the first phones Force Touch in its display integrated. So first of all, we have a 5.5 inch AMOLED display which has a resolution of 1080 by 1920 pixels. Um, it's a very nice display, has some very nicely saturated colors, not too saturated, I would say just, just a bit. Um, very nice viewing angles, the blacks are really very deep as you can see over here in this menu bar. So um, having a further look over here, we've got an 8 megapixel front facing camera with an uh, f2.0 um, stop. Over here is an LED flash, so you can take LED flashed selfies at night for example. And uh, it's also covered by a very um, matte foil or something, so you don't get a yeah, flash lighted, if you can see it like that. On the left side, we have a dual SIM card slot. So you can have two nano SIMs inside here, or you can have one nano SIM and one micro SD card with up to 128 gigabytes. Um, on the bottom, you can see here, we have two nice screws, a speaker, a microphone, one out of three microphones on this phone. And this might look like a USB type C connector. It's not, it's actually just a micro USB um, port. Over here, we've got a volume rocker and of course, um, our power on switch. And on the top, of course, a three and a half millimeter and the second mic um, over here. So looking at the back, you can see we have a 13 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash, dual tone, uh, which should be great for night photography. Also, this camera has um, optical image stabilization with up to um, 1.2 degrees of uh, moving ability, which is quite a lot. And it should take quite decent photos. We will have a look at it in a second. And of course, our fingerprint reader. Um, having a look at the build quality, this device is very, very premium. You get an aluminum, um, all aluminum build here, which is a unibody aluminum design. Um, very slim edges over here and they are very nicely polished with a diamond cut that's how huawei calls it um, very nice feel it's not too heavy it's 157 grams um, just try it for a 5.5 inch device if you ask me um, having a look at the software we have um, android 5.1.1 which is the newest version right now um, it's running emotion ui 3.1 and over here you can see this is also running the high silicon Kirin 935 CPU, which is an octa-core with uh, up to 2.2 gigahertz of frequency. Um, also, 3 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of total storage inside here. Plus, you can add 128 uh, more gigabytes via micro SD card, um, which maxes out to 256. This is really insane. Um, so this is the most expensive version. This is a premium. Uh, luxury model and this is also featuring force touch so let's have a look at that what you can do is you see these buttons these android buttons you can hide them and put them here on this edge so let's say i'm pressing down hardly on the home button this is a multitasking button and over here is the back button what you can also do is you can access apps over these corners so you just press down on this corner and then the camera should launch um, it's still a prototype, so it may not work over here. Um, and pressing down this corner, the recording app should launch. Now there it is. So as you can see here, um, Force Touch is still in its very, very early stages, and it should be a lot better. Here you go, now the camera launched, um, when this device is going to retail. So speaking of retail, this will be 649 euros for your 32 gigabytes uh, version. There will be a more premium version with 64 for 699 and the 128, we don't know the price yet, um, but it will not come out in Europe, it will probably come out in China only. So um, I promise you uh, to have a quick look at the camera and as you can see here we have very very different features, uh, starting with light painting, which has a very long um, exposure time, photo, video, Let's have a look at this has 4K video. Let's go into settings and we should see here um, that it's not supporting 4K video, which is due to the current 935 CPU, which is not as fast as some Qualcomm chips which do support 4K video. 
Um, autofocus, let's have a look at that. So this is my mic, let's focus. It's not as quick as other premium devices for this price, I would say. It's not as quick as the Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge, and it's also not as quick as the iPhone 6. So I think Huawei should improve on the focusing speed a lot. But yeah, other than that, a very premium feeling phone for a very premium price. What do you think? Would you pay about seven to eight hundred dollars for a phone um, from Huawei with these specs? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel. I'm Daniel from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.